That's what they just say. Riding down 17, how about say my ride there? Addison, how you doing today? Doing good, doing good. Glad to have you here on DME TV. Thank y'all for having me. That's what's up. So um, go ahead and tell us, uh, you know, um, where, you're, where you're from originally. I'm born and raised right here in front of me, you know, all my life. Okay. This is all I know. That's all you know. Okay. So you have a magazine named Rags to Riches. Yes, I do. Okay. So can you tell us what inspired you to build that brand? Let me tell you. I I had this vision for like a long time and you know in the beginning the thought process was always pushing me away from wanting to do it because the, the money you got to invest in all of the printing and this and third and it was like okay maybe this ain't what I need to be doing so I was like okay God keep giving me this vision for a reason and um, I hooked up with my cousin VA I don't know if you familiar with her VA the boss chick and I ran and ran it across to her and she was like, well, let me get online and let me, you know, try to find some ways. And she ended up hooking me up with this company online where we could actually build a magazine off the off the web page and go from there. The name itself generated from a little Facebook and her um, altercation, you know, but uh, it was basically I had an old friend and him and one of my cousins were getting into it and I was basically telling them like, you know, Facebook is not the place for that. You know, you got each other number, like hit her up and he referenced me to Raggedy Ann, the me that I was 10 years ago back then. And I'm like, I went to sleep that night and I was like, this man called me Raggedy Ann. Okay. And I'm like, you know, and that's where Raz the Riches originated from. Okay, yes, that's a good story though. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us, like, what type of content um, do you publish in your magazine? Basically, um, we do all talents. That's where the slogan, no talent suppress the other, come from. Because I feel like we have a lot of magazines already out that focus solely on whether it's just music artists or it's just the girls that's always have, you know, naked. And it's like, what can I do different? And doing my research, I'm like, okay, I don't, ha I don't see a magazine in Columbia right now that actually cater to poetry, makeup, hair, uh, artists, and all that under one umbrella. And I also do teens that are doing good in school as well. Okay. So. That's a great. That's a great thing. So I mean, um, for at this at this point, what did it take to take you to get to this point? Man. A lot of trial and error, a lot of, you know, self-doubt and, you know, um, when I get like that, I try to keep my positive, you know, circle around me to let me know, like, hey, don't give up. Everything, take time and, you know, in the beginning, it was a struggle, you know, especially trying to get people to support you and, right. you know, I had to learn myself that in order to get people to support me, I got to go out to these events and support these people too. Okay. You know, so very true. Um, but right now, I think it's picking up a lot, lot more. I got my friend Ebony Kane. I don't know if you're familiar with her, but once she got on board with me, you know, this year, a lot of stuff been picking up, and she's been a great inspiration with me. Okay, like those trial and error. Like, what type of trial and error did you come across? Oh goodness! Like, give us like maybe one or two examples. Okay, I would, I would say go into the layouts. I'm not good with the, the graphic layout, so it's like that was like one thing I had to learn. If, if you ever had my first issue versus my sixth issue, you'd tell how it grow. My second challenge would be to actually to actually sell them. Once you know, once we get them out, it's like I want people to feel how I feel about these magazines. It's to actually make yourself feel like a star. And when sometimes when you work with these people, it's like okay, I get my free issue and that's it. Like. I don't want to go buy no more for my family, so it's it's a struggle, but okay. All right. So um, I know how you set yourself apart from each other, from other magazines. Mm -hmm. But can you like kind of tell us like maybe one or two things that other things that set you apart from other magazines? Um, because like I feel like mine's is more on a positive end. It's mm -hmm. not always gonna be something negative. Like it's gonna be good stuff. I mean, we got some pretty models in there from North Carolina. You know. So it's not like it's gonna be boring or nothing like that. It still got that class to it. All right. So. Okay. So what's the process for obtaining content? Well, normally what I do is with uh, 
the makeup artists and the hairstylists and things of that nature. All they do is have to submit their work to Brass Riches Magazine at gmail.com. Just okay. add that in there. Okay. <laughs> And um, with the interviews for like the cover story, we will actually set up with my team and we'll actually go out and do interviews. Okay, so y'all do interviews too? Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. So how often do you put out um, new material? That is a struggle too, but yeah. it's, it's normally bi-monthly, that's my goal. Right. But sometimes it's hard to get all the content that you need in right. time. So it kind of holds up the process. Right, I mean, I don't see that's, I mean, you want to, you know, give quality. so. Right. Sometimes some people gotta understand that because mm -hmm. we had the same issues too. So did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's tough. I'm like so, and, and we only been probably maybe four or five months. So okay, okay. If, if that. <laughs> so. Well, I'm glad y'all work with me. Hey, do some more work in the future too. That's all right. Yeah. So, what's your favorite uh, issue so far? My favorite issue would be the issue that I did with Street Poet, which I sold completely out like the same day I got them. Wow. Um, she's an artist here, a poet, and um, that's my girl. And a lot of people that was actually featured in there were some of my good friends, like um, K Cash. She's a model here, mm -hmm. and um, oh my goodness, what is my other girl name? Kia, Kia Miller. She's a young girl, but for 18, she's very smart. Okay, that's good. So a lot of people that you know, they have given you content. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That, that's that's the best support though. Yeah, um, I actually went to school uh, school with uh, YPC Nay, okay. and she she was one of my she one of the cover stories as well with Raz the Riches and um, okay. Reezy Rock, which is a God Lord is one of my biggest supporters and okay. I love him to death. Yeah. Um, so okay. yeah. Yeah, I talked to Reezy probably uh, maybe about a week or two ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna, gonna we gonna do some work too. Got to, got yeah. to. So, um, I mean, like, what type of future goals do you have for the magazine? Where do you see the magazine, let's say, in a year and five years? Okay. In a year, I'm hoping to have it to where I can actually move it further than just South Carolina, North Carolina. I want to be able to branch out. In five years, I'm hoping to be, you know, worldwide, you know. And uh, I'm hoping that I can inspire people to actually understand, like, I want you to feel like a star, you know, I feel like we got enough where we can go in the store and read all the gossip off these real celebrities, and I'm like, nobody actually pay attention to the local talents that we have that's around us every day. Right. So. Right. And, we, and I have the same, you know, we have the same idea. We have mm -hmm. a lot of talent already in South Carolina, so mm -hmm. why we can't have our own celebrities where the kids can... Screaming, exactly. See, you know, exactly. Allie coming down the street. You know what I'm saying? Ask for autograph. I had a, um, I did a showcase, and that was my opening statement to the crowd. Cause I'm like, if you can spend your money to go see these big celebrities, and you can go crazy when they hit the stage, like give these local artists that same respect. Cause you right. know that's their that's their job. That's how they most of them eating. You know, so it's like right. show them that love and make them feel welcome, like as if you were doing, if they was coming to see you. Right. Exactly. You know, so people don't understand that one way support it it don't it don't work. Yeah. Okay, so if I was to look for a Rag to Riches magazine, okay. tell the people where can they find. Okay, you can go to Rags to Riches Magazine dot com. You can follow us on Facebook, Rags to Riches Magazine, and you can follow us on Instagram. All Rags to Riches Magazine. Okay. Okay. So as far as any other ventures, do you have any other ventures that you would like to get in or you have, you know, it's work in progress as of right now? Well, I, I do have a little, I have a couple of them, but, um... You want to talk about it right now? Yeah, I'm not going to speak on it right now, but as of myself personally, I do have like a couple of fashion shows that are coming up. Um, and I'm a headline in one of them with uh, Summer Glam, and that's July 9th. And then I have another one August 18th with Rosé Riot. So, um, yeah. And how can someone support your brand if they want to, let's say, um, they, they want to work with you somehow? How can they support your brand? I'm always available. You know, my telephone number is 803-393-9406. I'm always looking for um, ideas and new ways that I could um, market the magazine as well because like it's still a learning process for me so I'm always willing to work with the next person you know for both of us to 
wherever we're trying to go with our different ventures. So, um, what else? You guys can always support me by just coming out to the events that we have. And um, that's pretty much it. Shout us out. That's what's up. Hey, we appreciate you coming through and talking with us. Thank y'all. So hopefully we can catch you in the future, you know, when you have any other um, events or projects coming up. Okay. Okay. You work hard, you play hard, cause that's the way you live it, uh. <laughs> stay loyal to your business, you give it, then you get it. Pay attention, stay persistent, you gon' make it out them trenches, out them trenches. Yeah, Bubba made it out them trenches. Either cry in detention or get wild with your henchmen. You work hard, you play hard, cause that's the way you